This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. My opinions are my own. Gosh, the game's starting. Let me in. Let me into seasons. Oh my gosh, I, I don't know if my eyeballs are ready. Uh, aspirations can be switched at any time without losing progress. <gasps> oh! <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, back with Let's Play The Sims 4 Seasons. Wow, it, it's... It's been a long, tough road, but we're finally here. <laughs> Welcome to The Sims 4 Seasons! Yeah! <laughs> oh boy, this this is this is gonna be a good time, hopefully. It, this expansion pack just looks amazing. It, wow, I, I can't wait. Ah, um, so yeah, you can read all the, the things, all the text on the right. There's impactful weather, revel in seasonal activities, Celebrate the holidays and grow your gardening career. And yeah, just wow. I think there's supposed to be new music with uh, with this expansion pack in the main menu screen, but it didn't happen, unfortunately. Well, this is this is cool. All right, so let's just close this and uh, oh, oh, it's so pretty. Oh man, it's actually like highlights them all. Oh, and there's like the splooshes and the leaves falling. And there's the same who looks like me, who are helping helping a woman build a snowman. Um, or sorry, snow pal. It's called snow pal. I gotta get with the times. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, um, if you didn't know already, if you haven't watched any of my let's plays before, they all take place within the same universe, and this takes place after. The finale of Let's Play Sims 4 Cats and Dogs, which I actually just uploaded the other day, which features the wedding between my two main characters. So you're still invited to that wedding if you want to watch it. Oh, wait. Oh, this is the music. Whoa. It's so nice. It's like, oh. We're shining a light on your game because Seasons is here. Um, but yeah, this takes place almost like right after the last episode of Cats and Dogs. You know, like how Thor Ragnarok leads into Infinity War. It's much like that, except um, this is not going to start in like a disaster zone or anything. This is not going to be some crazy, dark, dramatic thing. It's going to be... a Let's play where I have fun, and there's gonna be a lot of cuteness because we're gonna be playing at a fox sanctuary. Yeah, so uh, lots, lots of fur, um, and lots of just cuteness everywhere. And we're gonna start in fall because October is my like kind of like main character who's moving over for my cats and dogs let's play, and she's kind of like the spiritual embodiment of fall. But enough of this main menu screen as much as I like it. Wait, hold on. I also gotta point out. The expansion pack row is finally complete! Ah, finally, finally, finally. It only took almost four years. But yeah, um, I, I think what happens now is I go into a save and then it asks me what save do I start in. We're, so we're gonna get right into fall. We're not gonna like wait for this reunion with October and fall. It's just gonna happen right away because I mean, We've had what's basically an eternal quote-unquote summer. Oh, hello! Select a season to play in. Spring. Spring is a great time to plant your garden, to take advantage of spring showers that bring May flowers. But watch out for those mud puddles in May. Uh, summer. Temperatures are climbing, so beat the heat with water balloons and sprinklers. Watch out for the thunderstorms. They can be electrifying. And then we've got fall. <laughs> Gather your garden produce to make a harvest fest feast to celebrate with friends and family. Enjoy the changing leaves, 
and leave files before things get chilly. And then we've got winter. When you're not bundled up indoors, have some fun in the snow or on the ice. Don't forget to decorate for Winterfest and plan your New Year's resolutions. All right, so yeah, we got to get on with uh, reuniting October with fall because she is literally like the embodiment of fall. It's her spirit season, not spirit animals, but spirit season. You're going to hit this check mark. All right. Okay, so yeah, the map screens still look the same as they do before, but I'm sure that will change once we get into the game. But I just gotta set up something real quick, and I'll be right back. Alright, so here we are in Brindleton Bay during the first day of fall. So definitely feels like a Christopher Nolan Batman movie with <laughs> how dark it is. Like, wow! So you can see the current weather is cloudy, it's cold, and the forecast for today is cloudy, and it's day one of seven. And let's bring up the calendar here, which is right next to the cell phone. And yeah, the calendar is a pretty important feature to this expansion pack. You can see what sort of things are going on with each day, and... I actually made my own custom holiday off camera because there was Harvest Fest and all these other holidays they are already there to begin with, but there's no spooky day. So yeah, I just went ahead and did that. And yeah, I just gave it the cute <laughs> Jack Lantern icon with the witch hat, trick or treat, wear costumes, spooky spirit, and a mischief spirit. I think all of that embodies Halloween pretty well. And then you can also like add an event if you want to. And then you have like all the normal parties that you have available but yeah we're not gonna do that right now but yeah this is pretty cool and what's interesting is that mysterious weather can happen as well and when I was filming the intro that mysterious weather when I fast forwarded to today was uh or not today sorry the next day was a snowfall so we'll see if that happens again but yeah, you can also see there's like Love Day there, New Year's Eve, Winter Fest, Harvest Fest, and yeah, there's all these cute icons for the freezer bunny with the weather there. It's like a chance of rain, chance of snow, and the weather does differ when you travel to different worlds. Like it was cold here in Bridgleton Bay, but then when I traveled to Windenburg, then it was actually hot. So, yeah, there's that to keep in mind as well. Yeah, Fox Sanctuary Household calendar. And gosh, like, from what I've seen so far, this it feels so immersive. You can already see some trees, uh, their leaves falling off. We're not quite into the full fall effect yet. It's not instantaneous, but you will see the trees get more like red and orange here it's uh, it's so cool to see it, it really is and let's see october still sleeping i did place some of the new objects as well because i got a water balloon bucket here and to see the scarecrow i placed over here i haven't interacted with it yet so i'm just going to um uh, just going to interact with that for the first time with you all and I think I actually, yeah, I still have the headline effects thing off. Okay, headline. All right, okay, got the plumb bob back. But yeah, the scarecrow is called uh, Patchy. Uh, oh, I guess because I don't have a relationship with it yet, it's not showing anything there. And yeah, I should take you on a little tour of this place as well. You got, uh, still got Chippy here. I just had to like <laughs> place a new object. But at least this custom content seems to be working fine. And oh, here's one of the new beds from Seasons just in the guest room here. And uh, yeah, I got the sprinklers, the garden. So that's pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> Um, Ember's just playing in the puddles. There is supposed to be, like, um, a little notification that tells you, like, oh, it's fall. Maybe that'll happen at 7, I'm not sure, but I did get some footage of that. 
uh, I guess Miles is eating the chicken burrito that <laughs> October made. And yeah, you can see it's slowly starting to clear up a little bit. And let's see, what else did I place? Uh, oh yeah, so over here, there's the little uh, box where you can set uh, all of these decorations. So yeah, that's pretty cool. We don't need to really do that yet because the holidays still a little while off. And then there's the new wreath right there, at least one of them actually. So this one is for Harvest Fest. And oh yes, yeah, so in the new clutter bucket right there is a new object as well. And let's see here. Oh, no, nothing told me that it's fall. Okay. Uh, oh, what's Miles doing? Oh, and I did give new outfits for October Miles off camera. I set their hot and cold wear, and I gave them a new everyday outfit each. So Miles' oh, jacket is completely uh, new. It's seasons. <laughs> I think I might actually have to get rid of some of these bushes because uh, uh, foxes might get a little obsessed with them and getting bitten by the squirrels and all that stuff. Okay, so looks like these sprinklers do probably work automatically. And yeah, I definitely have to take care of some of these uh, plants here. Maybe I should actually have October quit her job now and join the new gardener career. Let's see. It's a quit job. Oh, and I did place the thermostat. It's over here and so I'll just click on it so you can set it to cooler warmer or set it to off so right now we have it off and actually I'll set it to cooler and then you'll see what kinds of moodlets will happen to <laughs> make my sims uncomfortable and wait did she actually quit her job no she didn't what the heck um uh, work from home but quit the job <laughs> uh Oh yeah, and you can see the thermostat is glowing blue now. Uh, okay, quit job. Well, my sim's gotta be more obedient. Okay, just... Alright. I know, I know you loved your time as a writer, October, but you gotta let it go. It's time to pursue something new and that's something a little bit more fitting for you. Uh, okay. <laughs> gotta give the kitten some love. This is honey may remember her from the cats and dogs let's play if you watch that but okay so let's join a career oh oh wait <laughs> didn't need to click on it twice there yeah i'd really love to see more phone skins be added sometime okay let's scroll down ah there it is gardener You've always had a green thumb, but now you think you can earn some green with it. You'll start by doing a lot of planting and gardening, but keep at it, and you can find success in the science or art in doing so. Career branches. Botanist and floral designer. Hmm. I never really thought too much about which branch you'll go into, but I don't know. I guess I can picture her being a floral designer. Because I don't know. I could be kind of sciencey, but I don't know. It, it, she can go either way, really. I don't know. Let me know in the comments section below which of the two branches you're more eager to see. Then you can decide that way. But uh, twenty eight dollars an hour or simoleon, sorry, eight a.m. to three p.m. All right, dirt digger. All right, let's do this. Yeah, I have a lot of custom careers, <laughs> so that's why there's way more. But the gardener career is the only new career with seasons. Uh, purchase garden seeds. Got to jump start and accept the assignment. Okay, so we got level two gardening skill already. Purchase garden seeds. Well, we can do that multiple ways now. You can get it from build mode, but see, I can also just click on one of these seasonal seeds. What? Oh, okay, it's like catered towards the specific seasons. Okay, that's really nice. Let's get some fall plants. Uh, yeah, I think we'll just get one for now. Okay, so we're already done there, and work in two days. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, I guess we have lots of time to just do other stuff and explore the various worlds in the different weather and stuff. All right, so it's still cloudy, and... Okay, I think it 
I think the weather has warmed up a little bit. It's cooler now. So it's not like exact degrees Celsius. It, it just says like it's cold or cool or uh, warm or hot. So yeah, there's all that to keep in mind. Okay, and I think... Oh yeah, so here's the Moolet Morg like from thermostats set to cooler. Who puts the air conditioning on when it's this cold outside? So let's set it to warmer. We can afford it. It's okay. The government uh, gives us <laughs> some simoleons to uh, keep the fox sanctuary afloat in addition to the funds we're making from uh, from our little farm of sorts. <laughs> At least, well, I mean, <clears throat> it's technically with the mother load sheet, but we just pretend for storytelling purposes. So I'll show you October's new outfit. Uh, let's see. So this is her everyday one that you're about to see. And yeah, I am feeling this. I really love it. So the hat's new. Her hair's new. The dress is new. The leggings are from spooky stuff. The sandals are from... Whoa, there's some flies falling. <laughs> uh, um, Ember there. I should uh, take bath or give bath. Sorry. And uh, the bracelets from Seasons as well. So yeah, Seasons has some really great creative sim items in my opinion. Maybe the best pack for creative sim items overall so far. Although Laundry Day stuff is pretty good. And Backyard stuff and Jungle Adventure has some really good stuff as well. Uh, yeah, we <laughs> got all these foxes. I'm really glad that I have an extra hand now with October. Because I've played... With the Fox Sanctuary off camera, but that was when Miles was still single, so uh, it was quite a handful. Even though Miles doesn't have like a proper job other than to actually just take care of them. Uh, okay, are you gonna gonna give a bath? Okay, uh, I think you're actually gonna use like the bath I put out back here. All right, that's cool. What's interesting is I don't know if like I think these are technically windows, so. Even though it looks like it's open to the elements, I don't think the fox den is quite actually open to the elements. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, that's what the little fox den is over here. And I actually have the, um, have like a little door here so that only the foxes can get in here. And if I really need to refill the food, then I just use cheats to teleport miles in there. But yeah, I got some toys for them to play with and all that stuff. So that's good. And what have I not really shown yet? I guess I haven't really shown just like the first floor here. So there's a laundry room over here. Uh, by the way, this is the Garden Dream Farm by Simlessly on the gallery. And yeah, this was just decorative before, but now I made it functional because this lot was uploaded before Laundry Day released. And then we have like the living room here. And Miles actually found some feathers because... Frosty uh, got some out of the bush, but uh, yeah, I put some there. You even got the puffin. That was like the last feather that I collected in the cats and dogs let's play. And okay, I'll just put that in the garbage. And then there's the kitchen and the doorway. Oh, I actually need to give them an umbrella stand because, um, yeah, I need to. <laughs> Keep that in mind when it's raining. Although it's not raining right now, so maybe I'll just do that off camera. Oh, okay. I think October is gonna play in the sprinkler. <laughs> yup. So they don't change the swimmer automatically when playing the sprinkler. So you kind of have options. If you want them to be in their swimmer while playing the sprinkler, then you can do that. But let's play with this gardener workbench here. Make arrangement. Uh, Holly. Sure. Let's do this one. Oh, and I also found off camera that there's a new recipe called honey cake and you need honey in order to do that. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's like actually required. Oh yeah. And I should actually <laughs> equip the beekeeping, uh, or the beehive somewhere. Hmm. Seasons. Okay. There it is. Birdie's bee box. <laughs> honey, that ooey gooey sticky substance that tastes good at almost anything and you, yes, you can have it right here at your fingertips from Birdie's Bee Box. Bond with your bees and see wonders are in store for you. Yeah, because you can actually build a friendship with the bees. Uh, I guess I could put it like right here. Just have it all close together. And see, you can like, we have that one. All right. Okay, so October is making her flower arrangement. 
And okay, it's cool. So maybe if I can just have her continue it, I'll show you her uh, warm outfit. Or not, sorry, not how they cold weather. So cute. Yeah, so I think October looks pretty good in this outfit as well. Still uses the same hair and hat from Seasons, but a different jacket from Seasons. So, resume Holly. And I'm so glad that we have this back because, yeah, I really miss this from The Sims 2, open for business. Interesting, she's like putting a little scent in there. Oh, oh, she sneezed. Oh, and Miles is like <laughs> throwing away some dishes in the background. All right. Let me just like fast forward this a little bit. Oh, oh, I think she's almost done. Oh, she is not pleased. Maybe it didn't turn out to be good quality. Yeah, poor quality. Uh, flower interview with Holly. It's pristine. What can we do this now? And take a photo, uh, add vase. Let's add a fall vase. That would be pretty appropriate. Oh, whoa, we're actually taking a picture. I thought it was just like <laughs> her just instantly taking a picture. All right, well, sure, we'll we'll do that. <laughs> um, how much photography skill does she have? Like level two, I think. Uh, no, it's only one. Oh, what? Ember's expecting puppies. What? Oh, no. <laughs> um, well, we're really going to have our hands full. <laughs> Breeding with Prower. Okay, well. <laughs> Whew, that, uh, uh, that's that's going to be interesting. Oh, you're attending to the bees now. Okay, the grumpiness, the bees are calm. Honey amount is empty. Okay, that's interesting. You can bond with the bees. Change the beekeeper suit. Yeah, this is just bond with the bees. Yeah, the bees. The bees. <laughs> According to all known laws of aviation. No, just kidding. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Charmy Bee from Sonic the Hedgehog. Pretty happy to see this. Prower doesn't seem to care, though. It's just happy that... Uh, <laughs> that expecting expecting some fox pups all right but okay there's the fall vase looks like uh for inventory set with oh we need to do that with that uh okay what happens if we like drag this into our inventory can we like uh uh oh we can't do anything with that okay um all right, well, let's just sell this one because it's poor quality anyways. If Even if we did give it as a gift to Miles, uh. it probably, uh, he probably would be very much appreciated. Oh, you want to go on a walk? Okay. Let's, uh, yeah, let's actually do that. That could be kind of fun. Uh, la, 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 la. Let's just go on a short walk. Okay, sold that. All right, yeah, let's... Let's go for a little walk on this cloudy fall day. I think that'll be really quaint. Oh, here's a moodlet. Self-proclaimed Lord of Bees. Watch as these tidy insects bow before me. <laughs> yeah, it's like October is becoming bug-eyed bandit <laughs> from the flash. Okay. Let's follow them as they go around here. Uh, oh, geez. Uh, should actually take care of the garden, though. Not sure where the gardener is. Should uh, <laughs> should be around sometime. Maybe you could just have Miles help out with that. Uh, oh, oh, you just stopped. Guys, yeah, let's make sure we're outside here, inside the lot. Okay, looks like it might be clearing up a little bit. It's still like. It's brighter than it was before, but since it's cloudy, it's not super bright like if, ah, blah, blah, like it uh, would be on a normal day. No, don't practice horseshoes. Okay, I think 
I think they are starting to change these trees. They're starting to change a little bit. The grass is definitely darker, like all the, the grass right here. So that's pretty neat. Yeah, it all has like kind of this darker tone and definitely here for it. <laughs> and there's the sandpipers over there. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Let's uh, maybe just go into tab mode so you can like get a more cinematic view of all of this. Oh, that same sim loves fishing there. <laughs> and I don't know, I thought I was imagining things, but I posted a picture on Twitter. It was actually even before I installed Seasons. It was just from the update alone, but the water seems to be a bit more clear than before. Like it's a little bit easier to see the ocean floor in my opinion, because I noticed that in both uh, both here and in Windenburg. So, yeah, that's pretty neat. Let's actually take a little picture of this. Just, just walking the fox on a cloudy fall day. Let's rotate over here. Or actually, no, I'll wait until it's like a little bit, a bit further here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, fall does seem to be kicking in a little bit more. But it'll definitely get more obvious, for sure. Uh, oh, actually, maybe I should have... Maybe I should have Prower go potty while we're just doing the walking thing. Uh, do, 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 or actually... Uh, yeah, just encourage Prower to do business. Okay. Oh, don't pee so close to my leg, man. <laughs> there's like a there's a gift over there. Can we just like pick that up while we're still walking? Okay, just get that off the beach. <laughs> oh, we got a fire opal. That's neat. And okay, let's let's scoop our poop, even if it's not done with the scoop in this game. But oh well. Uh, let's actually maybe scroll a little bit over so you can see more of what Cavalier Cove looks like as fall starts to transition. Yeah, it, it's pretty nice and it'll definitely get so much prettier. But uh, yeah, still feeling good about them bees. And Miles, what are you doing? Oh, you're just doing some push-ups. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Maybe, maybe we'll end this by um, talking to the scarecrow. And then I'll leave off this episode. But yeah, it's a nice atmosphere here, and have like the the seagulls going and all that stuff. I also heard some Canadian geese. I was filming other stuff off camera. Why are you going <laughs> going through the house? Uh, okay, so I'll, uh, I'll let you go, Prower. Hope you're satisfied with that walk. Looks like, uh, yeah, it was a good walk in October's eyes, at least. Alright, so let's examine the Scarecrow. Okay. Come on. Come on, October. Okay. Hmm, very suspicious. Very suspicious. Uh, it didn't seem to really do anything. Let's chat with Scarecrow. Let's discuss the birds. <laughs> of course, that's the first option <laughs> that I had to pick. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, it's already starting to come alive. Uh, make small talk. Tell some harvest jokes. So once you build up a good enough relationship with the Scarecrow, then it'll actually like really come alive and uh, help you out with the garden and definitely, definitely going to need that. Question the ability to Scarecrows. <laughs> I want to take a picture of October's face. <laughs> oh, whoa. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Uh, but yeah. October, just just having a little fun teasing the scarecrow, her little fall friend. 
But yeah, I think I'll just have her uh, tend this garden if... Um... Or actually, is it... Is that actually okay? I think it's because of... It's because of the fall. Yeah, okay. Maybe I'm just worried about nothing. Except for the bugs. Oh, wait. Well, these weeds. Okay. Oh, and we can evolve. So let's do that. Digivolve into ultimate. Okay, let's... Weed, but... Yeah, hope you enjoyed this first episode. It's just a little bit of setting up here. So it's gonna get a little bit better as we go along here. I think... I think the trees are transitioning even more into fall now. Yeah, it's a little bit more red. Uh, no, we're not going to do that right now. And I think the temperature... Yeah, it went back down to cold. So I'm really glad I had October change it to her cold weather outfit. But yeah, be sure to leave a like or a comment or even subscribe. Because it lets me know that you like my channel my videos. And it helps you keep up to date more easily with the latest content from me. I do videos on The Sims, Sock the Hedgehog, and more. So I'll talk to you all later, and have a great day. Thanks for watching. And man, I'm just so excited to get into more of this. Like, Seasons is finally here, after almost four years. And it just, it just feels so nice so far. Even if we haven't seen, like, the craziest of weather patterns yet.